Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Starship Theory. Now another patch has come out since the last uh, group of recordings, so I think episode 6 was the last one I recorded and then another patch came and it did supposedly address a couple of the issues I had with the game. Uh, components destroyed a little bit too, eas uh, too easily, um, the defenses uh, were lowered, I think the prices were, uh, blah, 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 blah. they lowered the price of the defenses, they capped evasion rating, so you couldn't just make a ship that had a high evasion rating and just never get hit, because I know that's something that uh, some people were doing, uh, whew, a couple other things, but anyway, we're gonna pop into a new game, and I'm not going to, uh, bother, because they die so often, and they, it's really not that big of a deal, I'm not gonna bother naming any anything anymore, uh, until we get to a point where the game's a little bit more long-term, and I'm gonna try to see if I can... Yeah, some high-intelligence crew members. There we go, that's what I wanted. Intelligence seems to be important. And we're gonna try our best. Um, I think the way that... The issue I was having before is that... Uh, the the way that randomness is is I mean you know it's it's not really possible for a computer to be 100% random because it has to be programmed to do something. Uh, so a lot what a lot of games do are kind of um, generate a random string of numbers when you start a game and then it goes off that string. And I think that's what this game was doing because I, I I definitely found that no matter what I did I kept running into the same problems in the exact same order in the exact same time. So I think starting new uh, probably be good for us. And I think we're going to do the same thing we've been doing in the past. And that is we're going to try to sprint our way up to three mining lasers. So what we're going to do is go, let's see, uh, that's going to be here, mining laser. I'm going to pop them right on the nose. And then we're going to need two heat vents. And we're also going to need solar panel and a CPU panel. And then we're going to need to start building some more hull components. And how do I want to do it? Hmm. I'd love to start building off to the side earlier. Here, let's do this. And we'll work from that. And then, oh, and everybody's got to be, got to assign people to do things. There we are. And let's pop that up. So yeah, a, a lot of the issues that I've had with the early game, they've been they've been fixing, you know, in you know a really brief period of time, really brief. They've been Johnny on the spot with. So now mining lasers at the top. Why is it not getting? To, oh, someone is working on it. It's just taking longer. Okay, my bad. They've been Johnny on the spot with the patches, uh, it, and it definitely seems like okay. I have a I have, I have an issue with this. They fix it. I have an issue with that. They fix it, and I'm happy with that. The patches are coming fast and furious. When they broke the game, they fixed it, you know, like a day later. All right, so we got a mining laser up. That's good. Oh, shit. You know what I just did? I blocked over. You know what I could do? I could just move it over. I'd have them deconstruct that, move it over. Okay, uh, we're going to have to start mining. We're going to skip that one because we can't, because it's uh, too far past. And we're going to hope for the best. The first minefield can really make a big difference in a game. Especially if it hits you, like this one might. But I have an evasion rating of plus one. So fuck you! And we're going to want to queue up actually moving that airlock over. Um, so that's going to be like, remove that. And then as soon as they build that wall, I can tell them to build an airlock in there. Nothing, all I got is a little bit of water so far, which is a really bad start. Oh, there's some metal. Nothing. There's some metal, just one though. Getting three mining lasers up ASAP is definitely the most important thing. That makes all the difference, That that's the difference between getting hit by asteroids, that's the difference between, you know, uh, scraping around for whatever resources you can get your hands on and actually making some progress. So now what we need is that airlock. I'm gonna pop that bad boy in right there, put a floor plate in right there so they can actually walk by. We should be able to build that from the outside, I think, and if not, they should be able to get into the airlock to get to it. Hopefully we don't get hit by anything, a little bit of silicone. 
Oh, um, did anything, was anything destroyed there? I don't think so. I think we're safe. Ooh, nice. Uh, something they did add in was a, uh, from what I, I saw at least, I haven't seen it myself yet, I just saw it in the patch notes, a, fuck, that hurt. Again, didn't destroy anything though. And it got me some metal, so I'll live with it. Did we get the airlock in yet? Come on. Hopefully this doesn't hit me. We're heating a little bit. They didn't get the airlock in. Why didn't why why did they not get the airlock in? Oh shiza. Getting hit a lot, but you know, my components aren't being destroyed near you know, that's a big help. Components not being destroyed by a single impact from an asteroid, that's a huge help. Alright, so let's just make sure that they'll sell me a crew member. Or I could sell J to them. Uh, they'll buy silicone or they'll buy gold. I'm not gonna do any of that. This should this should be good, right? I don't know why it didn't work right the other time. Everybody can get back in the ship, and we're good to go. So we're okay. And then what I could do is I can keep building down this way. Or build out a little bit more. Move this stuff over. That'd give me more room to work with. Huh, how do I want to do this? I got a, I got a good amount of uh, metal here, so we're in a good position. Why don't we go ahead and... You know what would be really nice? Um, click on, uh, click on a, an item, a little contextual menu, menu pop up. Um, uh, deconstruct... Um, reinstall at like so deconstruct one, one click re deconstruct and then you know click this click reinstall at click a location because moving stuff is pretty common so i'm gonna i'm gonna take that off i'm gonna take that off and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna replace them cpu panel solar solar panel there And then what we can do, I think I think what we're going to do is we're going to start building like over this way. Like this. I'm okay with the ship being a little asymmetrical for now. Perfectly okay with that. And then we can do it in a floor right there. I kind of don't want to take the engine off. I like having my, uh, if I could get by without deconstructing my engine, all the better. And then we're going to have to get some food and some food and whatnot in here. The building down thing I liked. That was, that was nice, but now we're going to try it a different way. Building straight down. And I kind of like, you know, spaceships, I kind of like the, the asymmetrical look because in space, you know, aerodynamics aren't necessarily an important issue because there's no air. And then we'll just go. Floor. And then when that's done, we can get more floor right here. And then here, let's do. So if I do this, then I'll have. Okay, then. Yeah, that'll be good. And then we can try to make it more asymmetrical in a hot second. But what we need to do is get enough room for food and water to, uh, to be up. And then after that, let's see where we are. We we need more power. So small so, small solar panel right there. That'll allow me to get another laser up. Yeah, I know you don't have access to water. We're gonna be working on that in a hot second here, guys. Oh man, I, I I'm I'm already feeling better about the changes they've made. Already feeling better. I think it's gonna be for the best. And the fact that they're making changes fast and listening to people's uh, criticisms is is great. 
Like, my first biggest complaint was that when you saved and load or did anything um, that involved, like, reinstantiating a level, it, it knocked the UI off, and almost immediately they were right on top of that. Do we start with more material? I feel like I have more materials to work with. So, there's that. And then, um, food and water right after that is the next thing on the list to do, the to-do list. An asteroid flying in that you can't do anything about, smashing half the components on your ship and ending a run like before it began was a really big annoyance. And that seems to be gone now because I got hit with asteroids and they didn't, they damaged my hull more than anything else, which to me makes sense. I like that. Not, not that I like getting hit, it's just it may, I like the change that they made. That's just some water, no big deal. Get it if, it if we have nothing else to work with. Oops, silicone, take that. Get this one. Nice. Ship coming in. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that. Okay, they'll... They're traders, that's good. Let's just get through this asteroid field. Let's see. I could buy food from them. That's something I'm willing to do. That's half my money, but fuck yes, because that means I don't have to worry about my people starving to death so damn early. And I could sell them water. Sell to Target? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Now let's do that. And now, uh, that's gonna be utility, food dispenser, right here. Um, okay, is, is there a way to remap? You know what I would love to do? Hmm. We might 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 remap some keys here. So let's see. Is there a, a camera move? No. Okay, that's something they need to add in. That would be nice. I don't like mouse controls generally. Uh, so I'm just gonna assign those to uh, rot rotate uh, clockwise. Sh should be the other way around. I'm gonna assign those to that. Just, I don't. I don't know. I never use mouse buttons four and five. Never. So it's just that's that's something that doesn't feel natural to me. That one in time, but we can try for these two. Get some more metal, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's let the system cool down. Oh, and they made stars less uh, less of an issue, which again, it was an issue I had. It's like it, it, the combination of flying over a star and people not uh, really prioritizing putting out fires, especially if they're tired, like they're just sleeping, so they're not gonna put out a fire on the spaceship they're in. Uh, was was a bit of an annoyance and what I saw was stars less brutal is the way they put it That was a good amount too. nice nice all right that should be enough to build that um, Hey guys You want to you want to take care of that Anybody oh, Son of a bitch there we go. All right, so food dispenser. Yeah, that, that feels better. Like, I'd like, I what I want is to be able to, because, you know, a, a natural feeling control setup is, for because I'm right-handed, right hand on the mouse, left hand on WASD, and then Q and E are right there for rotation. So I want WASD to move the screen around. I don't want to have to drag and drop. I don't, I don't, I don't like that combination. I mean, I like having the option to drag and drop, but I, I just be able to map those keys would be nice. Mapping the keys. You know, what would be uh, really nice if if put it, if uh, making smooth shapes um, would help like deflect asteroids or something. 
So if you had a big flat surface like I would, there'd be a higher probability of hitting an asteroid. But if you make, you know, smooth rounded shapes, there's a higher probability of either missing them or deflecting, um, deflecting them around. That'd be cool. So we got food and water. That's good. Um, what is next on the list? So this goes out one. So there's this side and then it goes out three. So I would need to extend this out three, then pop an airlock over on that side. Um, or what I could do, so I don't have to, this issue, is move this. I can't, uh, if I, I don't know how much that, that'd be under utility. Cargo hatch is five, so I need a little bit more. Uh, move it off somewhere else, somewhere where it's not in the way, and then put the airlock there, then I don't have to keep moving the airlock. Oh, you know what? I, this is, this is a little more asymmetrical, because this has a space right here, but not on this side. I mean, hull here. Okay. Getting more of those three lasers is the next thing on the to-do list. Um, but what I want, what I also want to do is hmm. If I put a console here facing up, can they get to the water? Three mining lasers. Yeah, yeah that, and then and then a cargo crate, I think, or, or a hatch. I'd rather do the crate. I think buying food was the right idea. That'll allow me to... Uh, go longer with before I have to focus down on making food, or at least focus down on making food, but then try to mitigate the, the losses that were sustained from eating, rather than just starving myself out. Because I don't know what the what, what the economy of food is, but it definitely seemed to me like I was I, I, I was going to start starving real soon. I right, got a bunch of metal already. That's great is on an intercept course. That's okay. Pending. Okay. Um, apparently, early early ships should be less armed. That was an issue I had. Another trader. Alright, so I could sell them a crewman, or I could sell them metal, with neither of which I'm going to do. And we're going to hope for the best here. We didn't get hit. And I was talking to some people on my Discord, and one person who's been playing the game as well was like, all you need to do is get a couple engines on, and nobody can hit you. You get your invasion rating to a point, and uh, nobody can do anything about it. You'll just miss, 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 miss. And that was that was clearly something the devs were like, yeah, that's not going to be a thing anymore. So they, they put a cap on the evasion rating. But that seems like... A, evasion seems like a, a mechanic um, that could definitely use some fleshing out in the future. Nice, I need that. Man, it definitely feels like I don't know, maybe the medium sized I feel like I'm get I'm doing better on my economy. Like maybe the medium sized asteroids uh contain more metal. Because before a lot of times you get like two or three from them, now I seem I'm I'm seem to be getting like double that. Nothing there. Let's look, okay, you know what I should start doing is queuing up more construction. So what I did was I went down here and then over, but that's fine. We'll just keep that up. I'll do this and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mining laser here. Come uh, on, a little bit more. Yes, just a little bit more is nice. Okay, there we go. All right, nice. How much do guns cost now? Uh, so that'd be under weapons. That seems to be the same as it was before. Maybe they talked about other stuff, but I think that's the same as it was before. 2010 too. 10 and 10. Seems the same to me. So we're going to need... 
utility. Here, let's put in a cargo hatch there. We're going to go mining laser there. And we're definitely going to need one more of each, I think. I like symmetry. I really like symmetry. So we need to go out. So it's from the edge, it's three out, and now I'm at two. So we would go three out like that, and then I'll I'll work on the I'll work on the hull. Yeah, because we're we're getting more more items faster than we were before, or or we've gotten lucky. See, I can re. I could rename uh, the USS uh, clus Clusterfuck. There we go. Now that now that we know we're not dead right right off the bat here, and then um, where do I want to put an airlock? I'm like I'm sitting here going, where do I want to put an airlock? That's a good position. That's not going to get in the way in the future. And then what we're going to do is engineering. Well, what I, what I need to do is make sure I can get two li two lasers. I was going to put the, the other laser up here. I should work on making sure I can get two up and running before I try to throw the third one on. Um, and I do. All right, so now what we're going to do is CPU panel there, solar panel there. And we're going to start putting in some more heat sinks. There and there. All right, good position. So, the, so we're gonna run out of metal at this. That's okay though. Should probably just use the one mining laser until we get the other heat sinks up. I don't think I've ever had more than five heat sinks. Five was a good number though. And then what we'll do is once we get the next batch up and running, yeah, I think I'm just gonna use the one so we don't overheat. And I guess I, I fuck up overheating a lot. <laughs> Music's catchy. So I need 30 metal to queue up everything I got. And I got 8 silicone, so that's good. Do, 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 do. As, as excited as I am for them to uh, add more features to the game, the fact that they're Johnny on the spot fixing, uh, you know, mostly balances and some some bug fixes and stuff, they're Johnny on the spot with that. Um, me, 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 pretty much gives me good uh, good hope for this game. That hit me. Oh, that guy's got a gun, but he's not hostile. All right, let's uh, bit bop some of these guys before we do anything. All right, so sell them water. That's fine. A little bit more money, or I could buy some silicone. We're okay on that. But now we have a little bit more money. A little bit more money for bribes. Need metal more than anything. There it is. Ah, come here. Ah, shit's in the way. Okay, I can't get that. Those heat sinks up. Damn it. Yeah, stuff was in the way. Got to pick and choose my targets. So when you got when you got uh, smaller amounts of mining lasers, you really got to pick and choose your targets, or you're gonna start wasting. Yeah, so we'll go for that. The f come on, farther one first. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it all. Yes. Om nom 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 nom. Uh, yeah, we'll suck it up. There we go. Nice. 
Got some good metal from that. How much? Yeah, a nice amount, nice amount. If we get a, if we get one more heat sink up, I'll turn the laser on. I need 20, so I need 10 for the next one. So one more uh, metal and we'll start building it. Come on. Ah, I invested a lot into that. It did not pay off. There we go. That's what we needed. So the next minefield will have two up. There's one more. Nice. All right. So my 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 ship looks slightly like less like a dick. Like like this guy's just got really big balls. All right, there we go. So now I'm perfect. Well, we had the other one up. It's just we didn't have the uh, the heat sink available. Now I could I could operate the two relatively safely. Oh, what's cool with this, uh, you know, you know, building out a little bit more is that we do have a little bit more potential for engine placement. But I'm okay with this so far. Two lasers, that's good. Got food, water. Oh, we actually ran out of water, but water's easy to find in a field, or an asteroid field, that is. As, as long as I don't get fucked by a big old enemy ship, I'm good. It's good. I never even noticed that, the little vacuum sound, that's cute. Yeah, with no music playing, you can definitely hear it. Hmm. Come on, where's the next asteroid field? Star detected. Right now, there's basically only three interactions in the game. Um, there's stars, there's asteroid field, and there's enemy ships. Well, there's ships. So, you're just waiting on the next one of those to pop, uh, pop in. So we definitely want to grab some, because we sold all of our water, but water is usually pretty easy to find in an asteroid field, so not a big deal there. Yeah, before you'd, you'd fly by a star and your, your ship would just burst into flames all over the place. That, that, that feels better. I'm just in my head. I could just I I, I just go over uh, all the different potentials for interactions as as the game gets larger. <laughs> yeah, there's two right there, so I'm gonna go for the smaller one than the larger one. There's some water in there, but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get it because the larger one's in the way. Metal and silicone. Yeah, we don't have that other one up yet, so we need that heat sink, and that's that should be enough right there. Just I'm overheating. There we go, nice. And that should get the other heat sink up, which should allow us to operate these lasers perfectly safely. Twenty, yes, nice. Nice, metal, metal, metal. Now let's go for this big ass one right here. Should be able to get it. Further one first. Water, 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 water. Need that. And then we're not going to bother with that one. We're just going to hope for the best. All right, that one we can't hit, or we can't we can't affect at least not with uh, two mining lasers. Nothing there. All right, ship's coming in. Haven't haven't seen an enemy ship yet, but I'm good with that. Oh shit, that hurt. All right, it's got a gun. I'm not currently hostile, and I could sell them gold, but I don't even have enough to do that. So. Let's turn this off. 
or at least uh, face him elsewhere. That that hit wasn't too bad. It actually got me some metal. So look at the metal I got now, fifty. I, I I definitely think they've increased the amount you get because I've, you know, at this point in the game, I've never had a decent amount of of metal built up like this. So three mining lasers is the next thing on the to-do list. Here we go. Plow there, nice. Excess cargo vented. That's not what you want to see, but I don't think it could have. It couldn't have possibly been very much. So what we're gonna do is say mining laser right here, and then start filling this out. Um, can I put a cargo hatch in here before there's... No, I, I doubt. I think we have to go hull hull and then do it. And we can start building down, too. There's plenty of room for that. Why are you sad? Plenty of room. Yeah, we're doing good. You know what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Her plow. Her plow. That's just aesthetic more than anything else at this point in the game. So now what we'll do is we'll say remove this. And we got the third one up. And it's on. Uh, we're gonna need more heat sinks though. Oh, you know what happened? That's why we maxed out. We lost a cargo hatch. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's a bummer. I thought that seemed a little low. I didn't... Uh, there's definitely a reason I didn't see that coming. Come on, guys. Finish this up, and then you can... Here, um... Manual control. Work on that. We'll replace it. Don't you worry. I just need you to do this, like, right now. And then we do airlock. We want to put it in down here. No, right there. And then, come on guys. This is what, come on, like you, you're sad because you can't, manual controls T. Um, so work on that, T, work on that. So let's get all this stuff going guys. ASAP, quick like a bunny. Why aren't you? Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, why aren't you working on it? You're all on manual right now. I think that's what that little uh, brown ring underneath them is. I think that's manual control. I know I screwed everything up, but just temporary. And then that'll be hull. I'm gonna change it to floor. Can I get you to work? No, I, I don't think I can click on it because he's in the way. But we'll get it fixed. Don't worry, guys. Then we'll have a nice symmetrical ship full of symmetry. Get that back in here. Yeah, that was a bummer. I didn't realize that must that must have been in the asteroid impact. There's that, and you're gonna move down here. Work on that, and we'll be good. And then you. Uh, release control. And when you're done with that, we'll release control. And then you can come back inside. I know, it's just temporary though, guys. I had to move shit over. And things on the list are going to be... A navigation control uh, would be nice. And a research station. How much is this? 10 and 10? But before that, we need to start doing things like... More solar panels and CPU panels. And then, because I need at least one more small heat vent. Where is it? Oh, we're over on time though, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. The game is definitely progressing quickly. Um, if you have, don't just, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will return tomorrow with more Starship Theory. Goodbye.